Okay, this is the first take in this particular series, essentially. Okay, ready with me? Hello, I'm Bill Inman. This is another video essentially on degenerative myelopathy and how we're utilizing the new laser as a means to take care of this. Degenerative myelopathy is a disaster in veterinary medical uh, therapy because when an animal presents themselves with degenerative myelopathy, they're unable to get up and move around, can't go outside to do their business, and when they can't go outside to do their business and foul in the house, very commonly that's the last trip to the veterinary hospital. Veterinarians hate this disease condition because outside of steroids and anti-inflammatories, the animal either responds or they don't, and then they have to be put down. Um, when we started, years and years ago, we started adjusting these dogs. Now, Ruby has degenerative myelopathy. She's a smaller dog. She's uh, 15, actually, and she started actually having difficulties going up and down the stairs when she was about 12. So we started adjusting her. When we adjust her, we're using the instru adjusting instrument. We go through and we reset the neurological uh, se sections along her back, the vertebral subluxation complexes along her back, and because of that, stay, stay, Ruby, stay. And then what happens is we're able to go ahead then and rehabilitate those neurological interferences. About a third of the animals that we treat with degenerative myelopathy respond favorably with this device. A third respond poorly and a third didn't respond at all. We started using frequency specific laser therapy using some specific types of frequency sets. We would utilize a device like this one which we used for years. It delivers a, a light like this and we would be able to rehabilitate to some degree the neurological interferences that occur along the back on these dogs and that's fine. We were able to take care of about another third of these animals essentially with this particular instrument but a third still would not respond. The other therapy that we would utilize is we would utilize a technique now the new uh, LZ30Z uh, laser essentially which if I can turn it on, it turns on, hit the password, bring it up, enter the password I did, one, two, three, four, beep, I'm trying to do this, standard hood, and it goes to, you probably can't read this, but it says degenerative myelopathy. This is one of the 1,800 different frequency sets that we use to treat this disease condition. The uh, frequency of degenerative myelopathy, then we'd go ahead and put this on. It says put your glasses on. We have glasses here that we would use, but we don't use them. Um, and then I go ahead and hit this button, and we're lasering. As you can see, we're lasering in this regard. This is the therapy for treating degenerative myelopathy. Now, we'll treat her for about two minutes essentially and we'll move this up and down the spinal cord in this regard we don't have to have our glasses on and I have it set uh, this one is set at about 225 uh, milliwatts essentially uh, per uh, uh, therapy essentially and so this is enough to treat her this is the treatment for degenerative myelopathy when we started doing this about five years ago she couldn't get up and down the stairs and within a week she was and we basically now we went through a series of adjustments on her and that would in fact incur twice a day three days once a day three days twice a week two weeks essentially and we would do this for about two minutes per therapy and then she was in the position where she was able to move up and down so for the last three years she's been able to run up and down the stairs and do her business outside and every four months or six months or so we give her another treatment which we're giving her right now essentially and she's not really slowing down we just use this to optimize the neurological function along her back we're also able to utilize a number of other functions. This device actually is an infrared laser, too. We can use it to take her out of pain. She's not necessarily in pain. It's a lack of function. Most people present themselves with a problem with pain to their, to their chiropractor or their MD. And what we do, essentially, in veterinary medicine is we see these animals having a problem with function. So we see function problems that come. Their thalamic input, essentially, is about one-third that of the human being. And so they don't experience as much pain. But we can take them out of pain in about 20 seconds with this device. This device is a 3B laser that's infrared and a 2A laser, which is frequency specific. Again, there are 1,800 different frequency sets in this animal, in this, in this device, and one of them is degenerative myelopathy. Of these frequencies that are in the degenerative myelopathy section, there are 12 different specific frequencies that correspond to rehabilitating neurological tissue, including three specific magic numbers, as we call them, that are not published anywhere that we've discovered are able to basically rehabilitate, reorganize, and regenerate neurological tissue. This thing beeps when it says it's over with, essentially, and so it's done lasering, essentially, and we're done with this therapy. We're able to use these specific frequencies to regenerate, rehabilitate, and reorganize the neurological tissues along the back, and heretofore we have never had this. We're basically one of the frequencies that are for glial-derived neurotrophic factor, which has been discovered in the last five years, of course, and is elemental in trying to rehabilitate neurological function in the canine. We use this technique 
to a good deal of success. We've also used just this instrument alone to treat degenerative myelopathy and to optimize neurological function in these animals. Large animals will do this condition too. We see that a lot of German Shepherds at 8, 9, and 10 years of age go down in the rears. We're able to rehabilitate them most of the time. With this device, we very commonly use a combination of adjustment and the laser ter therapy to solve the problem. Thank you for listening for, uh, about this technique. This device is still available in its pre-launch. Ruby, lie down. I know she's done. She wants to go out and she wants to go now. Um, in its pre-launch um, uh, mode, essentially, which is about $400 less than the actual cost that's going to be, it's about 60, it's going to be $65.50 for another three weeks and then two weeks and then it's going to be $69.50 after that. I don't sell them, but you order them through me so you can have the 1,800 different frequency sets that are in this device. 900 for animals, 900 for humans. So this is a human and a veterinary device. And so if you have any questions, give me a call, and I'll be more than happy to give you some information. We've sent dozens and dozens of these home in the last two weeks. We're still on the pre-launch mode. Thank you.